they don't fall on sweep of the grounds, I think we're secure to move forward with the project. It's good, it's good. Now I see where my money going. <laughs> hey, you see that section over there? Yeah. It's perfect, man. It's away from the kids. It's real convenient. And you can get in and out so we can get this money. Perfect. Take a note of that. Councilman Ben. Rev, how you doing? How have you been joining us today? Glad to be here. I would like to introduce you to our investor. It's nice to finally meet you. Nice to meet you, too. And I want to thank you for your hard work for helping us receive the development. No problem. My pleasure. So, guys, what's the next assignment? We have somebody. He's going up from there. Oh, yeah? What's his name? James Johnson. We call him Bump. What I need to know is going to make him become here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow your roll here, guys, all right? Now, this is a little different than buying property. There's a lot of moving parts in this election out of my control, so what do y'all want me to do? What I want you to do is make sure he become fucking me. That's what I want you to do. Wait a minute, Red. What's this? God bless, Councilman. Growing up in the hood, it's not hard to tell what's real and what's not. So in this life, whether you're right or wrong, one thing is real and that's the choices we make. You only get three choices in life. Give in, give up, or give it all you got. My old head always told me, live by choice and not by chance. And choose to be motivated, not manipulated. Because if you can weather the storm, then you can conquer the pain. There's only two things in life we can't fight. Age and death. So all you have to do is just keep on living. You either in or you out. Yeah. Well, we could do that too. Go for it. Hey, 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 play this cut. Man. You come from that. I got you. Yeah, we can do that too. I'm gonna work a little late. Hey, Mike. What's up, bro? What's up with you? How are you? Alright. Yeah. Hey, Bob, let me call you right back. Yeah, that's Mike. Remember, Tuesday, man. Don't have me waiting all day, cuz. Alright. Yeah, I'm gonna call you right back. Yeah, that's Mike. Remember, Tuesday, man. Don't have me waiting all day, cuz. Alright. Than uh, doing 10 years in the federal penitentiary. Being taken away from my family. Every time they come visit me, my kids gotta get shook them down and touched on and all that by these people. I don't have a desire. I don't have a desire for it anymore, man. Look at the game now, man. It's horrible, man. It's no longer a game. It's more of a joke. It's different. Different ain't even the word, man. I mean, there's no integrity, there's no honor, there's no respect, there's no loyalty, there's no love. You know, when we uh, we came up, it was rules and we had morals, man. Mm -hmm. These young boys don't live by none of that. They had when we came up. We came up. How can you get any money when a bunch of bodies dropping? Yeah, speaking of violence, I did something to a good friend of mine. 
He's been fucking oh, with me ever since. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Boy, I ain't no priest or no imam or nothing, but I don't think you should be coming to me with it, but go ahead, shoot for it. I shot bump. You want to run that past me again? I shot bump. I thought that's what you said. You shot bump because uh, he must have shot your mom. Come on, man. Bumpy must touch one of your kids. So what you shoot him for? The dumb shit with him and my young boy ring. You can't be serious. <laughs> You joking, man. Stop playing, man. Knock it off, man. Oh, not Mr. Munch. Not Mr. Stand-Up Guy. I fucked up. You now let this little kid manipulate you I to shoot a, a shoot a person that you've been with friends for 30 years, man. 30 plus years you've been friends with that bull, man. I fucked up. Listen, though, right? I'm not the one you should be telling this to. For one, you need to repent to Allah. For two, you better pray that Bumpy forgives you. Yo, that's the spot right there. Right, right. 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 Hey, bro, you ever get at that little bitch I got away? Yeah, you get on top of that, dog. Little bitch gonna wreck. We ain't got time to fall, man. Say no more, man. Round five, slime. Damn, don't stop with them trash cans. Trash cans, man. It's so long ago, you bitch ass. Told me mind my business, right? Your conscience just kicked in. You know, most guys would have went along with this and told me afterwards. I ain't most guys. That's what I like about you. Why you look so tense? What's on your mind? A little bit of everything. My kids, being back in Philly while I'm all the way out here in New York, that shit killing me. Your body being on me, that shit's killing me. <laughs> but then, like, my dad, like, his story, like, he was killed. It was years ago, but it's just like this whole mystery around it, and I just feel like I'm getting a little bit closer to finding out who his killer was, and that shit's just super weird right now. Well, I think you gotta keep searching. Sometimes the truth lies right in front of us, but we just too naive to realize it. Man. Yeah, you're right. I fought for killing the vibe, though. What's up with you? I know about the bodega job, but how the other one treat you? 
Man, I hate that job. I wish I could just rob the manufacturer down in Philly and move to a private island for the rest of my life. Manufacturing? What you talking about? Manufacturing other pills is where we get our pills. And that joint in Philly? Like, you know what part of the city is there? Poor Richmond area. You know the schedule and all that? <laughs> yeah, I know the entire operation. That right. This was being a problem. Not right now, Rev. I got a lot of shit on my mind. There was a shooting at the Union Development Projects. One of the site workers called me saying there was unsafe work conditions. This had caused a rift between us and the agency. Well, make it the fuck right. And what you mean a shoot? What happened? From the information that I gathered, the car that performed the drive-by had New York license plate. <sighs> Fucking sorry. I'm tired of playing with him. You know what? I'm gonna make sure this shit fit his ass right. Him and all them motherfuckers. Bring them nine of these. Hey, Zeus, keep in mind, we have a multi-million dollar deal to close. We can't afford a war right now. Rev, you think I give a fuck about some money? I built this shit. Don't forget that. You know what? You're right. We're gonna clap back another way. You know what to do. You got some argos for these? Yeah, so I'll try it over there. Okay. Me and mom go ahead and see what I can pick out. Oh, you know, big homie. You know? <laughs> I ain't Look went out to you, though. Don't worry about it. Therapeutic time. Yeah, right. Oh, yeah. We'll bring you to me, bro. Looking for something for us. Baby girl graduation. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Pretty soon. Yeah, pretty soon. Yeah. Pretty soon. Yeah. Pretty soon. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Let me ask you a question, though. Hey, what's up? Did you, uh, have one of those situations where you were talking about the barbershop? Nah, nah, nah. I've been looking for him. I can't catch up to him. Oh, yeah? Yeah. 
Well, you know, look over towards my wife, man. Here's your opportunity. That's what you go over there, man. You know what you about to say to him. And on them respectfully, man. Yo, uh. Bob. Yo. Say what? He said, I know who shot you. Who? I did. What the fuck? Yo, 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 now, don't get me out of my character, man. If a lost panel with the olive can forgive you for your for, for all your sins, man, all the sins you ever committed in life, as long as you repent to him, who are you not to forgive that man? I understand he hurt you, bump. I understand that. But just hear him out. You're running for mayor, man. You have to lead by example. You never know who's watching you, man. Listen to him. Listen to him. Go ahead, Munch. Come here to talk to you like a man, yo. <laughs> Man, you go back 25 years. And I felt as though you needed to know the truth. Man, if you can't forgive me, it's cool. But I needed you to know the truth. I'm not the same much. Robin. Oh my God, you look beautiful. May I write? Yes. What are you doing here? May I sit down, please? I'm here to see you, Robin. We have something to discuss. We have nothing to discuss. I promised you that I would keep our secret of sleeping together when I was your intern, and that it will remain between you and I. But that's not what I'm here for. I need your help in something. And what's that? This guy I'm running against, he's from your neighborhood. His name is James, but they call him Bumpy. Do you know him? Maybe. Why? I need some dirt on him. And why should I help you? What's in it for me? Robin, 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 what's in it for me? Have you forgotten? I wrote a letter for that job you got in Atlanta, remember? That was then, and this is now. Listen, I understand that we left on some rocky situation. I realize that. And I'm sorry, but I think we could help each other out. I know why you're back in Philadelphia. You got fired from your previous job. And you saw an opening for the DA's job. And I remember that was one of your dream jobs, wasn't it? Right? Yeah, it was. But if you help me 
If you do this favor for me, I will back you up 100% for that position. Trust me, Robin. If you could deliver that position, it's yours. Guaranteed it's yours. That sounds like an amazing opportunity. But I'm not really sure I, that I trust you. And I'm not even sure that I'm the right person for the job. Oh, you're the right person, okay? There's no doubt in my mind. You are right for the situation. I know you are. And I know that you guys were high school sweethearts. I know that. And you stuck behind him. You were loyal to him. In his worst moments, you were loyal to him. But Robin, Robin, everyone has secrets. So all I want is a few of his. I'll think about it. Well, don't think too hard because the election's less than a week away. And remember, life does not give you many moments. You have to seize the opportunity. Give it some thought. For you. What's this? Some money for our new venture, our new business. How much is it? Ten thousand dollars. Think it over, Robin. Good news. We expanded the operation. Hey, Fred. Hey, Sony. What you doing here? Hey, Fred. What are you doing here? I came to see my lawyer. Yeah, what operation are you expanding? You know, the cleaning business. I'm dealing with a few new corporations. How you like the job? How's everything? That's good. Yeah? How's LA? Um, he's good, I, I guess. I don't know. He's all right. Yeah? I know you work here. You know what? I'm gonna put in a good word for you. It was good to see you, all right? Make sure you tell LA, give me a call. Okay. All right, Sonya, take care. Yo, can you hand me that uh, Arizona, bro? Yeah, hold on. Good look. Oh, shit, young boy done already. Who? Um, ring box slide, bro. Ring? Yeah, young boy ring. The fuck y'all get so close? Uh, do a lot of business. You know what I mean? It's my young boy. Man, I guess. I know, I just want you to be careful. If you say so. He's not one of us! What you saying, man? Ain't no honor amongst them, bro. Fuck you got that 10 grand you owe me. Hey, what's up, man? You want me to lay this Philly nigga down? And why would I want that? I'm not big on coincidences. He showed up, the cleaning shut down, and they disappeared. It look like it's time to knock this nigga off, man. Really? Before you lay the murder game down, ask yourself why. If LA took down Nate, then why? Why is he still here? What has he got to gain? I don't know, man. It just all happened at the same time to me, man. Take this out. A thief will wait until you got a fall guy. The still from a place that he goes to every day. Same goes for a murderer. He will kill as soon as he finds someone to point the finger at. That's true. Remember, violence is bad for business. But the bread of violence is necessary. Because these streets they don't respect life. They only respect death. And this is a vicious game. There are no winners. So who do you think did this shit, man? Gotta be someone close to us. Someone that knows our operation. Game look about done. Yeah. 
check me out. I hope that this will be beat, huh? Not as long as you believe that. I can take a seat? Of course. Be fresh. Just watch me out. Fight it. You're ready, man. You handle your business. Dad killer still irrelevant? Well, this gun changed shit up a little bit. You play chess? Sure. Life is like chess, not checkers. Think before you move. Think about your opponent's move, and then you move. If you're good, think about your opponent's next move. Checkers is simple. You move, I move. Not that much story. Sorry, I ain't trying to hear that shit. Who was thinking about me and my little brother? Being raised without no father. Who was thinking about my mom? You know how many nights she cried? For years, nigga. I know you know who did this shit. Got me out here, I'm getting shot at and shit. At this point, I don't even give a fuck. <laughs> she look around. Look up. Snipers all around here. When you're quiet, you put that gun down. Or die. Wise move. Got the trail. Touch on those close to you. And make no mistake. Those betrayals. Are you gonna kill for a man that chose the streets over raising his son? Or you're gonna choose life and raise your sons over revenge. Now lay my keys next to this gun. Get the fuck out of my city. Still, man. Yo, I know you may feel some type of way how things ended with us, but I got something that's gonna benefit both of us. That girl that you're dealing with, London, she works in a pharmacy store. They got a headquarters down in Philly. Yo, they move your units like twice a day, like clockwork. You do that for me? I'm definitely gonna let you know what happened to your pops and how he got killed. The ball and started investing in brick streets, cold fuck a jacket. I'm gonna invest in a brick. Put some niggas on his acting, but I see death in your script. Run up on you while you lacking, you might be next to me. Bro, so much longer for my car. Give me like 10 minutes, Sabrina. I apologize, mama. Please. Really? I'm gonna throw you some air fresheners in. Some air fresheners? A little tire shine. No, I'm gonna take care of you. You're beautiful. Thank you. You're welcome. Roll it. Hey, what's up, young mom? How you doing? Okay. Yes, sir. Uh, I know you had a mechanic spot. Mechanic detail, all that. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Nah, I had, I had this when you was a kid, man. Your pop is one of the reasons why I bought this shop, man. Hmm. Speaking of your pop, man, damn, you looking just like that boy. What's up, though, man? I know you ain't come to me to talk about this shop. I see it's written all over your face, man. Talk to me, man. You got woman problems? <laughs> nah. Everything cool from there, but, you know. That's I've been true. better. You know. Look, bro, I ain't even gonna beat around the bush with you. Right. I got a little job I can use your assistance on. I mean, if you need something, man, you know, I'm definitely the person. I'd rather you come to me than anybody else. I don't have much, but with the little I do have, I'm always willing to share with you. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But you said the job, talk to me. What do you mean by job? So 
I got my little inside connect, little plug on this uh this pharmacy out in Port Richmond. Somebody on the inside say it's a sweet lick. Think we can come up on some pills. Somebody on the inside. Pharmacy. I'm gonna keep it all the way in hundred with you, young man. Pharmacy, uh, the whole robbing thing, that, that's that's not my twist. You know what I'm saying? You know, me and your father, man, we 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 come from hustles, man. You know, we go, we know how to go and get it, man. And uh, that pharmacy thing, man, I don't think you should go that route. As a matter of fact, it ain't no, I don't think. I know you shouldn't go that route, God. I know, I know, bro. The fed time. No, no, I ain't. You you say feds, but you don't know. You think you know. But I'm not even talking about feds. Feds is the least of your worries. I'm talking about them Russians. The Russians? Yeah, you make this face at the Russians. Yeah, the Russians. LA, listen, right? How old are you? I'm telling you something, man. I, I ain't just trying to preach to you, man. Them dudes are someone that you don't want to play around with, man. Yeah, it gets that deep, man. They'll smoke everything that look like you. Anything you love. Anything you got some type of feeling for. Look, I ain't really worried about the Russians, honestly. But I know it ain't your lane, but I was hoping that you probably knew somebody. You throw somebody in my way. All right, let me ask you a question. What's up? Why come to me? I don't really trust too many people rolling. No, you're a thorough old head, so I figured you got somebody else yeah, thorough. Yeah, my point you. exactly. I'm a thorough old head. Your father, man. That's my heart, man. Look at me, man. That's my heart, guys. That's my heart right there. I don't want to see his child go out like that, man. I mean, excuse me. I know you're not a child. You're a grown man. But I got love for you, L.A. And this shit'll get deep, man. It'll get deep for you, young man. And I think I don't. I am no disrespect. It's not that I don't think. I know you're not ready for that, man. But at the same time, <clears throat> you're a grown man. I understand that you gotta eat. That's exactly what it is, bro. I gotta eat, and I'm gonna get away with it. I'm smart, bro. You know how I am. Oh, man. So I, I just, I just need somebody else on my I side, man. Now you wanna put me in this particular. Point me in the direction of one person. That's all I need. So like, why they come slam for all? About how much? Where's you know, What's going on with you at? You know, huh. matter of fact, you your man right here. Fuck with boy. Yo, show some respect when you stand amongst men, man. All right, y'all done yet? Take a seat, man. Both of you. Let's get down to business. All right, sir. Good evening, everyone. My name is Timmy Muscat, and I am your moderator for this evening's mayoral debate. To the left of me, I have Republican Mayor Wright. How are you? And to my right, I have Democratic candidate Mr. Johnson. Thank you. First question goes to you, Mr. Johnson. What are your plans to keep the public schools open in the urban communities? Hmm. Let me say this. We have to make sure that the taxpayer money is being distributed in all the right places. For example, we have a city sugar tax that was, but instead of spending the money to revitalize or keep these same schools open, Mayor Wright and the city council has agreed to open up another prison. Not true. Not true. Not true. That's true. Not true, That's my true. friend. So. Not true. That explains where all the fun, some funds are going to with the budget. But if I'm elected mayor, I'm going to personally make sure that the money is spread out appropriately for education, community, and initiative programs, and not build another prison under, you know, Mayor Wright. Mayor Wright, question to you. With the city of Philadelphia having over 300 murders last year, including one promising young athlete, what is it that your office can do to assure the people that the murder rate will go down? Ms. Scott, no disrespect, man, but 
I, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know where you got those figures. It's public I'm records. I, no, 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 no public records. It's public. I don't know where you got those figures, mm. but since I've been in office in the city of Philadelphia, the crime rate is at the lowest that it's ever been in years. Where, man? The murder rate, the murder rate decreases every month. Check the stats. The figures don't lie. Where everything is documented. Go down to the city hall. Check the documents. You'll see that I'm telling the truth. Yes, figures <laughs> don't lie, but thank you, Mayor Wright. Mr. Johnson, next question to you. What are your plans to assure that the community develops a better relationship with the police? Well, I think personally, I think we need to see more police officers policing in the neighborhoods and looking like the people they, that, that they work in. And also having a cultural awareness to the climate that we're in as a city. So that would allow the people to build a better and a trust a better system and a trust system with the police officers. And once I'm elected mayor, I'm gonna personally make sure that the police commissioner is spending at least 15 hours volunteering. Volunteer. Volunteer. You're gonna get city workers to volunteer. That's Correct. Respect All the clock. Yes. Okay, I'm sorry. Getting back sorry. into the same neighbors that they patrol. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Johnson. Final question to you, Mayor Wright. Time is up. With the federal government planning to repeal the Affordable Health Care Act, possibly causing hundreds, if not thousands, of Philadelphians to be without health insurance, what is it that your office can do to help these people? Oh, Ms. Scott, that's out of my jurisdiction. As mayor, I have no control over the federal government. But I'll tell you what I can do. I'll have a talk with our Mr. Trump, and oh, I know that he'll replace the right. so-called you talk to uh, Affordable Health Care with something 10 times better for you people. You he will not you. let any of the citizens of Philadelphia go without insurance. I'll guarantee that. He will give you something 10 times better than what they have now. And he will care for his own people. Thank you, Mayor Wright, and thank you, Mr. Johnson. My name is Tanima Scott, and I was your moderator for this evening's mayoral debate. I bid you a farewell and a good night. Right, though. Hey, Who that? It's me, yo. Who me? Me, man. What's up with you? Oh, what's up, Kareem? What's up? What you mean? What's up? Like, I ain't returning to my car. There's not even nothing like that. What do you mean, man? Like, they know what you did, huh? Come on, like, it really wasn't even like that. Fuck up, bitch. <laughs> Dumb ass bitch, that was gonna catch you. Like, no, it's pretty uh, the results of today's mayoral election. Oh, it's really bad.